Good afternoon, uh, my name is James O'Farrell. I'm the uh, head of additive manufacturing here at uh, Solid Experts. Uh, we're going to do uh, today a run through on our composite machines, uh, the Mark Forge uh, 3D printer. Uh, essentially, we have our desktop units and our industrial units. A quick history of the um, of Mark Forge. Uh, essentially, uh, Gregory Mark, he had started back in 2013 uh, creating, he was an MIT grad, he was creating uh, parts in his garage, car parts in his garage, and he created a uh, 3D printer that essentially he discovered he was able to use carbon fiber, and because of that, he saw a gap, uh, a need in the marketplace for uh, a 3D printer that could really create uh, mechanical and functional parts and parts that are essentially plastic and composite parts that are as strong as uh, aluminum uh, 6061 and 7075. Uh, so this was really the start of the uh, Mark Forge uh, business. It got commercialized in 2014. That's when they first started selling their first generation, the Mark I uh, 3D printer. And then after that, uh, they expanded into the second generation, the Mark II. And uh, in 2017, they created their Metal X printer. To give you a bit of a resume of the type of technology the Mark Forge uh, consists of, it's an FDM style printer. Essentially what that means is you're taking a spool of plastic filament and you're extruding it through a uh, heated nozzle and by doing that it will draw out your design on the print bed. So with the Mark Forge what is kind of unique uh, compared to a lot of other FDM technologies out there it is a uh, CFF they call so a continuous fiber filament which we got here a, a part uh, that kind of defines what that would look like. So right here we have one of the materials which is a, a Kevlar, the Kevlar that's reinforcing the part here. Uh, this would be a more concentric type of reinforcement so it would do the perimeter of the part but we also can do isotropic which would be more of a reinforcement through the sides like this. So you can have the choice of how you want to reinforce uh, your parts with the continuous fiber. Our base material is essentially right here is onyx which is a nylon based embedded with microcarbon fibers the onyx material what's really unique about this is essentially is the wear and tear and and the usage and the abrasion so this type of material can really sustain really rigorous and demanding environments not just in terms of usage but also in terms of heat tolerances it can resist up to 145 degrees celsius so the onyx is made for the wear and tear of of your environment especially on the production floor uh, so this is we're going beyond just uh, prototyping fit form and function we have a machine that can create precise parts, but also very rugged parts that can sustain the uh, rigorous environments of, of a production floor. So now we continue with the carbon fiber. Uh, so this is your continuous strand of carbon fiber. So when you lay out your onyx, you have the choice. So you can create a part with onyx. So this will give you uh, a certain flexibility to the part due to the nylon base, but also as you can see with the surface, it can really uh, resist to abrasion. Now, with what I just mentioned here, our continuous strand of carbon fiber, this is the result that you can get. You can really reinforce your part with a continuous strand of carbon fiber, and this right here, for people that really want to get an understanding of the strength. This goes beyond aircraft aluminum. So you can really create a part that is as strong as 70, 75 aluminum. So we're looking at fully functional parts. Uh, so this is what's really exciting about the Mark Forge 3D printer. Second, we go into, we saw earlier, the Kevlar. So with Kevlar, again, you're gonna get a material that's gonna be really solid, really strong, but as well, it's gonna have a little bit more flexibility. So when it comes to dynamic testing, Kevlar could really be a good combination of strength, but also a bit of flexibility and a bit of give as well in terms of those uh, contacts if, if needed. Third, we have the fiberglass here. 
that's actually a great material as well. So if you don't necessarily need to reinforce a part that needs to be as strong as aluminum 75, but you're looking for something that's gonna be still solid at that point, uh, you're looking at a fiberglass uh, material that can also reinforce your part. What's great is with the fiberglass is you get a combination of strength but also a great price point as well for fiberglass to reinforce your parts. Uh, so you get the best of both worlds. Um, and then finally we have the high temperature fiberglass. So if you're looking for a material with a little bit more high temperature resistance, uh, this high temp uh, fiberglass will provide uh, a resi heat resistance of 150 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna transition to our desktop uh, printers as well as our industrial machines uh, behind here and give a bit of an overview on some of the uh, specs, some of the, the dimensions that uh, you can create with this. So uh, the first is the desktop. So this one consists of 12.5 by 6.1 by 5.2 inches and so the industrial printer you're going to get a bit of a larger print bed so that one's going to be 13 by 10.6 by 7.8 so this will enable you to print larger parts so people might ask what's the difference between the two well fundamentally they they provide similar materials but let's start with the desktop it's going to go to 100 microns in printing precision versus the industrial machine which is going to go to 50 microns you're going to get more precision with the industrial machine versus uh, the desktop and also at the same time you'll be in it it will allow you to also print larger parts you also have the unique ability to do quality control with our inspection laser that will be able to be able to scan your part while being printed to whether your parts are within tolerance or not so this is a very interesting feature as well this feature is on the x7 another primary difference of the industrial machine versus the, the, the desktop is the materials are the same when it comes to the onyx, when it comes to the Kevlar, when it comes to carbon fiber, fiberglass, and high temperature fiberglass. The difference is that we're gonna go a little bit beyond on the industrial machines on the base materials. So your nylon base material onyx is, include, is part of the industrial machine, but as well you have a onyx, the same type of base, and Onyx FR. The primary difference is that you will have a fire resistant material as your base if needed depending on your work environment. The third material is yet to come out but any kind of product development or material development on the Onyx base materials will be on the industrial series. Uh, so we're, we do have certain materials in the pipeline that should be coming out in the near future. If you have any questions regarding that or just want a more personalized presentation, uh, just feel free to, uh, the link is below. Uh, my email is j. O'Farrell at solidexperts.com and uh, any further questions on the pipeline of Mark Forge or further information you can reach out. Just to go into more detail about the Mark Forge application. So when it comes to the applications of Mark Forge and why I, we found here at Solid Experts this technology was, uh, was, was a great discovery for us. Uh, we're always looking for printers that are going to fill in a gap that the marketplace hasn't seen and this was with the Mark Forge is when we when we started reselling this printer back in 2016 um, we had uh, we had discovered something that with prior printers we were able to create plastic and composite parts that are functional that are as strong as aluminum and before that you were just looking at simple prototyping and simple uh, validation fit form and function of your parts and that's where 3d printing was at that point in time and the mark forge unit really opened up the door to a whole new possibilities so this is why we're going to go into a little bit more detail of the unique uh, ability of the Mark Forge and why it's versatile so it can do uh, simple validation prototyping validation of your parts uh, if you're looking for a smooth surface finish and you're looking for something with precision the onyx material is absolutely incredible and also the thing is 
there's hardly or little to no post-processing. Essentially, you're removing the support material from your part and from there, it's directly off the print bed and it's smooth and ready to go. And that's another thing is, if you're someone who's looking to make parts and products that are directly to the consumer, uh, this is also, we have clients that are doing manufacturing runs, they're buying several printers and they are running volume parts with the Mark Forge printer due to its surface finish, due to the ability to create strength and actually replace their parts with aluminum. Now speaking of aluminum, some of you might be familiar with uh, some of the applications, but uh, one of the uh, applications is for uh, industrial robotic machines. We have a part here that we can replace here. Instead of having aluminum, we're able to create a lighter part that's as, as, as solid as aluminum. So the wear and tear on your machine is a lot less. So these applications are a lot more useful and it's thinking outside the box and so this can save a lot of time and also money for, for, for companies to use these type of applications with the Mark Forge. Now, we also have here a soft jaw, a very complex geometries, something that's very hard to machine, very hard to replicate, can be done on the Mark Forge as well. And the surface finish is absolutely amazing. And again, keyword, no post-processing. Uh, this is a great machine in terms of creating a surface finish and also industrial strength parts for your production floor. We were able here to create a, a part, uh, create a part to support uh, for a CMM inspection. So essentially to, uh, qu for quality control, we're able to do a lot of different things uh, with the Mark Forge and that's why we're able to diversify uh, the applications uh, of this machine. We have an air duct here, so we're looking at very customized tooling right here. And this is something, again, you can get really creative and thinking outside the box. This is done on the Mark Forge as well. Surface finish, absolutely amazing, and uh, it gets the job done. So this is the fourth, fifth, and final part right here is a brake lever that we were able to create. And also you can see here we have uh, metal inserts that are in there as well. In this case, uh, for these inserts, they, they press fit uh, with some heat to be able to uh, insert these, these parts in there. But uh, you have that option of stopping stopping your printer to put your insert as well. To summarize, the, the Mark Forge 3D printer, this technology is of leading edge. It's a fraction of the cost of what's out there on the market. And the goal of this printer is to print plastic and composite parts that are as strong as as aircraft aluminum, if not stronger. And so when you wanna look for something that's reliable, uh, we've been selling this machine for four years and we have not seen a whole lot of maintenance on it. So for people that are looking for something reliable, uh, something that is versatile on the production floor, uh, also for, for prototyping, or just end use parts on your assemblies and you want to replace and, and lose a little bit of weight, uh, and replace it by aluminum and, and add some of this, uh, these strands of continuous carbon fiber instead, uh, this is the machine for you. It is versatile. This is additive manufacturing at its best and uh, Mark Forge really embodies uh, industrial strength and functional parts. This is something very unique on the 3D printing market and Mark Forge should be, I believe, in every production floor shop, but that's my opinion. But see for yourself, if you want a presentation, you want parts, you want samples, we have them here in stock. Uh, we also can take a look at your file, make recommendations, we can do personalized presentations. And once again, if you want more information, you can give us a call. Our number's below. It's 514-343-9111. You can reach out, ask for James O'Farrell. It'll be my pleasure to assist you. And also at the same time, my email, sh shoot me a quick email, joferrell at solidexperts.com. And once again, thank you. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.